Chelsea Crew is your girl Latoya. And as always, Chris. And we are back with another video. So today, we're gonna do something different. But before we get into the logistics and all the details, make sure if you haven't already, that you like, comment, and subscribe by you doing so. It helps us get more exposure. We're bringing, you know, our videos get in front of more people. So we greatly appreciate that. And it's free. That's the good thing, it's free. So tell them what we do it today. So Latoya's gonna make some soup. Um, what is it, chick, uh, ham and potato soup? Yeah. She's gonna make some ham potato soup. So I won't be on camera much at all. And then I'll just be filming her making the soup. Yes, and hopefully the cameraman know how to, you know, use the camera right. Because, you know, in the last video, when we did the eggnog, the cameraman was getting hot. It wasn't that bad. The cameraman, I'm speaking in, in third person, the cameraman was getting kind of close to the ingredients. I need y'all to be able to see everything and all that good stuff. So I'm going to lay out the ingredients so you guys know everything that I'm using. You guys will be able to see me prep it, but you will not see my face. But I will be there. And then I will put the uh, recipe down in the description. I know we always say that and I forget. Need to get better at that. Call me out if I forget. We'll put the description down in the comment section below if you guys want to try it out at home. You can, you know, let us know how what you guys think if it actually turns out good. This is the first time I'm making this. So we will see how it turns out. He likes to eat anything and everything. <laughs> They call me Mikey. <laughs> Give it to Mikey. Mikey will eat it. Mikey will eat everything. Yes. But I don't... I'm the, I'm the person in this relationship that's like... I waste my food, but then once I'm done, like, I make... <laughs> I make him eat all the leftovers. So he'd be like, what are we eating today? I'm like, look, I got... But what's funny is when she when she's done with it, she's like, that's mine. Don't eat it. And then, like, two days later, oh, you can have it. <laughs> Whatever. So, anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the ingredients. First we have Knorr's, uh, it's like chicken flavor bouillon. Organic, free range, if y'all can see that. Uh, chicken broth, I mean, you can use whatever chicken broth you want. Stick of butter. This is Lando Lakes. I have minced garlic. Well, not minced yet, but we're gonna mince it. So pre-peeled garlic, an onion, two celery stalks, carrot, milk, and you guys can use whatever milk you want. This is whole milk. This is onion powder. I had to manually make this because. Uh, I've ordered Instacart a couple times and each time they forgot to bring me my uh, minced onion, parsley, chopped ham, cubes. You don't have to do this, you can actually get, you know, you can actually get the cubes uh, ham steak where you can cut it up and chop it up. I didn't want to do that. So I just got it pre-cut in this water. We have flour for thickening, and then the potatoes over here on the corner. Now they're supposed to be red potatoes, I don't know if y'all see. It's supposed to be red potatoes, but only two in a bunch actually look red. So I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping and cutting. Okay, so this recipe calls for two stalks of celery. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. Uh, you can toss the head, so I'm not keeping them. But you cut them up finely. I have a really good bite for that. So it cuts really quickly. As you see, I've already nicely cut up my celery stalk. So now I got my celery stalk done. I'm gonna paste it on the side in a bowl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this carrot. Okay, so I'm done cutting up the carrot, as you can see. I'm gonna throw this in this little bowl, like the one that the celery's in. Like so, like that. So we got the celery and that on the side. This recipe calls for a whole onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing up. 
Okay, so I got all my onion diced up. It's like a medium sized onion, and then I'm gonna throw that in this bowl. Seems like every recipe that I've done lately requires a whole onion. And then for the potatoes, these wonderful red potatoes, we're just gonna cut these in cubes. And we're using three cups of this. So I'm gonna get my measuring cup. So I have a glass Pyrex dish that I'm gonna throw the potatoes in. And then I have my little measuring cup. I'm gonna fill this up three times. So I know I have enough potatoes. But when you cut your, your potatoes, you're literally just cutting it in cubes. Nothing fancy, you can cut them however you wanna cut it. So this is basically one cup, so I'm gonna cut up the rest and then I'll be right back. So I finished cutting up all my potatoes, so I'm gonna set this over here on the side. And last but not least, I have to mix these garlic cloves. Actually, I had a garlic mincer press, garlic press, but I bought a new one today because that thing be doing something. Here so. are some results. Sorry, my phone is talking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mince those over this. It is, the recipe doesn't tell two garlic cloves. Um, if you don't like garlic like that, you can always take out what you don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and mince these in this cup. So everything is done now. We have the minced garlic, the chopped onion, one carrot, two stalks of celery, and three cups of red potato. So the next step is I'm gonna go over to the oven and I will start sauteing these together. Okay, so now that we've got everything cut up, we're going to do two tablespoons of olive oil. I don't know where my tablespoon measurement is, so I'm going to be using a half, and I'm gonna do four of these. Okay, so I put the four half tea, tea tablespoons of this because it required two tablespoons and I only had a half tablespoon, but I'm using this uh, extra version uh, Pompeian first, first, uh, first cold press, can't talk, I'm stuttering. But basically all you do is get your olive oil in the skillet. You're gonna put in your potatoes. If you hear noises in the background, my dogs are out, so yeah. My minced garlic, you guys can probably see that. Your onion. And your two celery stalk. Now the recipe wants you to kind of get this all mixed together. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my ham in here. But you wanna uh, keep this in your skillet until it uh, crispens up. It don't have to be like brown. But you want it to get a little bit crispy. And then at some point we're going to put in the chicken broth. I'm just using a pepper grinder to grind some pepper in here. And then I have some Himalayan salt. So put in there what you like. Because what I like, you may not like. Now in this house, we are huge pepper fans. So you will be seeing me put some cayenne in here. Nothing, no special brand, it's just Fiesta Extra Fancy is what it says. Cayenne pepper, because we like it spicy. And this is just one serving. You can always do double the recipe if you're gonna have a cup. This is just for me and Chris. Sorry if y'all can't see this, but this is the pepper. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. 
And it usually is not even enough to really, like, if for people who don't like spicy food, to even really know when you get it all in the pot that you actually add it in there. Some people I do know have pepper allergies, so I get it. They won't even play with uh, the thought of putting that in there. And like I said, it didn't cause you, call for you to season this, but I seasoned my food. This is everything that's in there. It definitely looks good. So I'm getting ready to prep a pot on this side. Y'all don't judge my stove if you have some things that I have been. But I still have my milk out, so. This is one cup of milk. Recipe calls for three tablespoons of uh, butter. I don't have my autofocus on, so I'm sorry, but uh, these basically on the side of the butter, it gives you the measurements. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and that's my three tablespoons of butter that's going to go in this pot. Putting the butter in there. So it can do its thing. A little salt. And I'm using the Himalayan salt again. Nothing special. And then I need three tablespoons of flour. And like I told y'all before, I don't know where my tablespoon measurement is, so I'm gonna be using a half tablespoon, which means that I'm gonna use six scoops of this from the flour. And you don't have to have this. This soup is actually thick, so if you don't like it thick, you can always thin it out to, you know, for the recipe to be a thinner consistency. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a medium temp. It's like sitting between, you can't see it on my dial, but it's sitting between low and high, so it's right in the middle. So I'm going to let this pick up some temp and start boiling and then I'm going to come over here as you can you guys can see my potatoes and stuff has started it's not browning yet but it definitely is starting to pick up steam. You want to saute this just so you soften everything up so it's not super crunchy I mean we're going to boil it. But the more you saute this and get it, you know, soft, the better it's going to be and less time it's going to take when you get everything combined in one pot. So I'll be right back. So I'll bring you guys back over here. So I got to put in the dried parsley in here. And this calls for two teaspoons. So once again, my little measuring thing. I have my little teaspoon, so I'm gonna get two scoops of this out of my little parsley bin that I showed y'all. One. Two. And then it does cost for a half teaspoon, this little guy right here, of onion powder. So, Long story short, if I tried to Instacart this multiple times for them to bring me onion powder and each time they have failed to bring it. So I had some uh, dried onions and I just blended those in my uh, blender to get the powder. So there's my onion powder. All of that is in here, so we're gonna continue to mix this in. It does have a good color. It 
it's not really browning, which I'm not sure why. Maybe I just don't have it hot enough, but I also don't want to burn. So this recipe calls for chicken broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And it's three cups of chicken broth. So this is the chicken broth, the cage-free one that I showed you guys. Not the knock my stuff off the stove. One. Two. Three. I'm not going to leave this in a skillet like you might have thought. I'm actually going to put this in a pot. I should have just did that to begin with. And I am very supportive of you trying your food because you're the one that got to eat it. Nobody else has to eat it. And what I'm putting in there is this Knorr's chicken seasoning. Not that the chicken broth don't hit, but you know, sometimes I need a little extra. Huh? And that's what this is gonna do. Now I'm getting excited about what it's gonna be like when I get to chew this up. And over here, I'm about to get my little whisk. Don't have to be nothing fancy. This is what my whisk looks like. You want to whisk this while it's on low. Try to get the clumps out. Make sure you don't have no clumps. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down. Well, actually, I'm just gonna turn it off because I actually think it's hot enough. I'm gonna add an extra little, a little bit of egg milk to this, only because it's a little thick. And like I said, you could always thin this out. You can add more chicken broth. You know, as you go, if you think you need something more. Me, I'm just eyeing it. You know what your, what consistency you like for thickness. So you can make whatever adjustments you want. Just be sure to taste your food. I know a lot of times, sometimes people try, like make adjustments, but they don't actually try their food, which is fine, but sometimes you'll end up on the bad end of the stick with that. Mm -hmm. It's already hitting y'all already hitting. I promise y'all it's hitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine this in a pot and then I'm gonna come right back and I'm sorry y'all y'all probably tilted but I'm gonna fix y'all in a second. So everything is all combined in one pot um, so I'm gonna let it simmer Put a lid on it and then I will come back once everything's done and let you guys know how it turned out. We're not going to eat it today, so maybe in a video soon we'll try it on camera and tell you what we thought. But you guys have 
I'll be back hopefully in the next 25 minutes. So basically the food is done, the soup is done. So we'll probably try it soon. I'm gonna top this with some cheddar and uh, we'll, you'll see us on camera so you can get our full reactions. I've tasted it a little bit, but I'm gonna wait for Chris. He had to go to work, so yeah. And another video. All right, so there's the finished product. We don't know how it's gonna taste. Once it cools down, we will try it on camera with you. And you'll see our first reaction. And you'll get to see our first reaction here, right here in front of the camera. We ain't gonna be, you know, you know, like people eat in front of you, you get hungry, we ain't gonna do all that. We still haven't shown you guys the finished product of our ornaments. That actually has taken a lot longer than we thought because the ornaments are actually still wet. So hopefully when we get ready to taste test the soup those will be ready so you can get yeah you can get the best of both worlds so if you're new to this channel make sure you what like comment subscribe and hit those post notifications and we want you to do that because like i said it helps us help you so we can make sure you know we can keep doing these videos for you and uh if you haven't already you need to go check out day two because we're doing what we're doing a giveaway where we say a keyword every video which today is what uh, ham and potato. Hashtag ham and potato. Okay, hashtag ham and potato. So you'll put that in the comments. And when you put that in the comments, you'll be entered in to win. And the gift is a $25 e-gift, cash app, whatever you want. You want to do it to charity, we do that too. Whatever you want, just watch me go number two for all details. I'll link it so you can watch that video too. All right, and we out. Later.